Hi, I'm Jane. I love to garden. I live up by the Wasatch Mountains in Utah. And today I am so worn out. We had a wonderful day trip up to Silver Lake. It's on the top of Brighton in these beautiful mountains over here. And my kids were practicing fishing. We didn't catch anything, but the people next to us did. And they were so sweet to show my Lindsay, my youngest, um, how to catch it with a net that she had, that she had so much fun. So at the end of this video, if you wanna see more of that, it'll be at the end. And we just had a really good day, but because of my stupid back injury, I had to be pushed in a wheelchair the whole time. Ah, you know, you just have to get through things. Anyway, so today I'm gonna have my son Ethan help me and my sister, let's see if I can find where it's at. Right, 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 right there. Gave me some plants from her yard and ones that need a little bit of help that I'm gonna be putting in the same bed. And if we get any time within the next couple days, we are going to plant the winter sowing that's still left from last January. And I'll show you that in just a minute. We're gonna put it all in the same bed. So in the next two weeks, we're gonna be able to keep it nice and moist and watered because it's the same bed and we're at the end of September and it's so glorious out here we're in the 80s almost 90s and we have a couple weeks to get some things done and I finally have a couple dahlias blooming so I'll show you those anyway lots to do come along let's go play I'm going to show these plants real fast. I need to really work on the those. Everything needs water. We've got daylilies, a couple of roses back there that could use help, and a hydrangea that needs help. So all of these I'm going to probably soak today and get them planted tomorrow. I'll just show you a little bit of a tour of my crazy wild front yard and the beautiful mountains up there. So we're going to start with getting these into a gorilla cart and taking them in the backyard soaking them overnight maybe two nights and planting them all tomorrow so let's do that so I'm gonna take all this down and I'm gonna give that to the one rabbit that we have right now that rabbit needs to find a home because I'm getting a, a back surgery but first I'm gonna have my Ethan take these back to the compost area so that we can use the gorilla cart to take the other plants to the backyard while Ethan is emptying that, I'm going to take and deadhead some plants. I've got lots of plants that could use some deadheading right here. This one's gone to seed already, so I will put that in a, in a brown bag for next year. The more you deadhead, the more flowers you get. So if you get rid of these spent blooms, then it won't produce seed, it'll produce more flowers. And these are just cosmos, but you can do this with so many plants.
So now I'm going to get after the, all these plants and all the trimmings are just going to go in. I got this from Target like 20 years ago. All right, maybe 15, but it's just a little tub. Can you see it? Tub with handles. This one actually doesn't have holes in it. The other one does, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to just kind of take these down a notch so that they're easier to plant and that they don't have to keep trying to keep the dead alive. I'm gonna start with these daylilies and I'm gonna do what I did before. I'm just gonna cut them down. So all this top stuff, I don't need to keep this, try to keep this alive through the winter. So it's gonna go in here for compost. So I'm gonna let these sit in water overnight and then hopefully we will get to planting tomorrow or the next day. And I've got a lot to plant so hopefully my kids will get out here and help me before we get winter, yuck. I'm in the backyard. We're gonna work on this again. Those have been soaking for two days. <laughs> so it's time to plant along this right here. I also have, if you see on that side of me, winter sowing containers and my son Josh so he doesn't really want to be on film so I'm just gonna record him digging just the shovel <laughs> but he's gonna help me make a lot of holes along this so that we can plant in that and if you remember I have a back injury so I can't do a lot of the heavy lifting or the digging but I can sit on my shovel I didn't mean shovel I can sit on my bench and help plant it so come along you don't really need to drown them this much. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I think we got rain or maybe the sprinkler. That's what happened. So here's the mountains. I have a rose of Sharon here. Some roses and some new bushes. Right along here, I'm going to have my son dig three or four holes. So just dig for me so I can get some plants in there. Yep. Yep. And it, this is really hard because nothing over here has been... Like we put a little bit of wood chips. But this section over here, I couldn't get anything to grow for years. And it's because the soil is so crappy. So this might take a minute, but he is such a sweetheart. So I'm just going to have him dig up a little bit. I also have some wood chips in the front. And I also have some potting soil. So this will probably be a good uh, swatch of Coreopsis. Because I have tons of Coreopsis. And this section right here gets a lot of sun in the morning. Like, see that section over there still in sun? But this one's a little more shady, which is not letting my smoke bush get enough color this year. So I'm hoping that these, I wanted them to be dark, dark purple, but they're not very dark. They're kind of a dark green. Thank you, Josh. What do I do now? Just keep going. I want another hole there. And see, I can't do the digging, so my sweet kids are helping me. I want them in the ground for winter. Yeah, that's what I need, thank you. This is a Caryopteris, and I love it. First year that I put it in, so some of the flowers are gone. But, oh, I want this thing to get huge. And then I have some Feverfew that I'm gonna let drop its seeds and hopefully reseed over here. Hopefully I didn't just pull up the whole entire bush.
Lots of fever few, Coreopsis. That needs water. It'll water when we do all this. So right here, Good can rock. you do two more? Okay, yeah, get that rock out of there. Thank you, precious. Then I want one here and one here, okay? Yep, did you get that rock out? Yeah. That was fast, so it was a smaller rock. Yeah, it was. Um, so I recently, yep, yeah, I recently put in those yarrow. So I need this one right here, pick that one up, and pick that one up. They're going to be heavy because I've had them sitting in water, so they're pretty heavy, right? Bring it over to the holes you just dug for me. Thank you so much, bud. I appreciate it. And then, yep, just stick it down there. Awesome. So we're going to work over here in the shade for now, because over there is way too sunny, and it's like 90 today, and it's in September. So my sweet boy brought me over my bench and he's gonna help me get these out and we're gonna plant them in. Okay, my son's gonna help me do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tip these over like this, Josh. Like this, okay? Awesome. And then we're gonna get the plants out. And then we're gonna put the plants in the holes. These are winter sown seedlings. So those are gonna come out and then they're gonna go into this hole. So we're just gonna work on these two first. So what we're doing is we're just pushing until we can kind of get it out. They're not going to be super rooted in there because these weren't... That one is. That one's been rooting for a year, I think. That one came back. So this guy, can you see him? Is he in the screen at all? You so much for your help. So some of these are not very rooted oh. in. It's okay. My sweet boy just got four of them for me. So we're going to take those wood chips and we're going to put them around these seedlings. This is a winter sown Tithonia, Mexican sunflower. And if I would have gotten it in the ground this season, that would have branched out and been absolutely glorious. But can't do everything, but they're so soft. Oh, they're soft and fuzzy, but it's not soft and gross. It's soft and, and nice. 
So I'll do those again. type it is hopefully it's panicle and not macrophylla because we do better with panicles in our area it might be all the way to the bottom of it there you go holy crap okay so take some of that dirt that you did before and just kind of fill it in yeah and you can do that with a shovel too if it's easier Patches, don't dig up the stuff we just planted. Come on, Patch, out of there. Okay, there you go. Oh, does that fit in the whole thing, or do we need to? That's part of it. The divide it up. Just, just fell out. That's okay. You did good. I know I did. Good job. Just there it is. Okay, that one, do you think it's gonna fit into one hole? Yeah. That works. So what we'll do is we'll leave the hole in front right there, a couple of the holes. There's one hole right here too. Yeah, we have plenty of space. So just kind of bury these if you can. Just like so. That's good. That's fine if it breaks off. You could put it in the other holes. Or you could just try to, okay, cool. That one's a little bit more, this one has more you nutrients in it. There you go, Smarty. There you go. We have dirt here. Yeah. Lots of extra potting soil because I wasn't quite sure how long these were going to be in the pot for. Okay, so this is another Sweet William. These are wi winter sown seedlings that I put in this container to try to root them in. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm taking them out like this. Just kind of dig. Good job, look at you. Good job. Some of them had died away, but there might be seeds still in there. So you could probably put all three of these in that giant hole if you wanted. That one looks pretty dead. We'll just- yeah, We can try it. Okay, let's try it. Let's put this one here, because you know that one's alive, but let's put that next to it. Good job. It's like we're making a hedge of Sweet Williams. It's pretty cool. And these were a $3 seedling, or I meant seed packet, or I got them from a trade even. You want to do that and put the knockout in front of that other rose? Yeah. That works. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah. So you could even just dig in one of these then and see if you have any more space in there. This one has space right here. Right there. Watch. There's space there too for that seedling. Now this one here, we'll put right here. And this guy is still on there, but he kind of fallen off. So let's let's bury him. And then just keep this. That one's also fallen off a little. So we have extra potting soil that we'll use on top for nutrients in a minute. All right. If you'll go get the next rose. We'll put the knockout rose in that next hole, I think. So I'm not sure if this rose is gonna stay because it was a beautiful rose, but it just keeps reverting back to Dr. Huey and it's making me really angry. So this rose also came from my sister. I think it's a knockout. So go ahead and get that in there. Thank you, Ethan. He's helping me finish the rest of the plants. October 1st is tomorrow. You might just want to hold here 
where you're not going to catch those pokies. Sometimes, yep, right there. Hold, yeah, hold there right here. Fall. See, right here yeah, doesn't this, have any pokes. Yeah, this. Okay, he wants to do it himself. Oh, look at you. Good job. That almost looks like one of my rooted cuttings. It's so small, but it isn't. This is the one that my sister got from a store. Probably on clearance, I'm not sure, but thank you. Give it some potting soil and okay. some nutrients. All right, what else do we need to stick in? I think we're almost done. I'm just gonna water and then figure out where some mulch from the front yard. further yeah that's a good spot right there and I also see I'm uh, mom what I'm trying to make like a circle up to there <laughs> it won't move see this is not very good soil do it right there bud right there right there yep is that also hard not as hard as that last ground there you go that last one was pure rock right you're next to an amaranth and some geraniums, hardy geraniums. Stick it right next to it. Okay, put that salvia in there. So I don't think, I think this is a weed. This one, I hope I didn't just dig up a flower. Maybe I should look into that. Put this amaranth, see there's two of them, so that one's a weed. This is a, a salvia. So put the whole pot in there if you can. That seedling is on, there you go. See the seedling, see it now? See how big that seedling is? Oh, it goes all the way to the bottom. This was winter sown, I think it was winter sown in that container, but it is a winter sown seedling. So what you're gonna need to do, dear, dig that back out, because it's not. So you want me to? It's not deep enough. There you go. Simply just do that. Exactly, good job. Now go around it with the dirt. Because that whole thing is a uh, root. Yep, this plant should be very hardy next year. And then take this right here and just kind of plant it around it. Yep, and just kind of scrape it. Scrape it over there. There you go. And then my famous pushing in. All right, let's go get another one. We could even cut the seedling back, honestly. It might do better if we cut it back a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna drown all my seedlings that I just barely, that Ethan just barely put in to give them a good life and a good start. Right next to it, we have some coneflower and some geranium, lots of daylilies that need to be cut back we have roses, more roses. Here's a Rose of Sharon, and I'm gonna come up by my mountains. And then I'm gonna come back down where Patches is. Patch, what you doing, Patchy? There is a lilac bush there. And this one is a um, smoke bush, but there's no color to it because I need to, to prune the tree above to give it some more. And then this one is a Caryopteris, and I think my dogs have been kind of destroying it a little bit and then all these seedlings right here you can't really tell but those were planted a couple days ago with Josh I've got winter sown hey patch do you like the smell of those I was just talking about them these are winter sown um, hyssop Annie's hyssop there's another rose back there and then we'll come over here. I'll show you some more of that in a minute We're gonna put a coral knockout in this one. I actually have another coral knockout in this same row, so that'll be really nice. This one was free from my sister Dinah. Good job, buddy. Wow, good, now put that all around it. My Ethan is helping me. He has a, <laughs> uh, what is that called, a lollipop or a sucker in his?
Well, he does that. Look, I'm good for something. Look, I'm good for something. I'm good for something. I'm good for something. So these are actually not day lilies. These are red hot pokers. And then there are some yarrow in there too. So we are gonna try to find a spot for it back there against the fence. So I'm gonna have my son start digging holes right there. So you need to just go right in the middle and yep. Very good and see how many you can pull off there. Good. So some of those are coming off. Move your shovel for two seconds, I'm gonna show. So this one, you just, you don't have very many roots on it, but it might grow. And then this one, this is a good size clump. So that'll grow just fine. So we'll put that clump over there. Another good size clump. One more or do you, yeah, one more. Can you see the roots in there, guys? Those big, thick orange roots. Right there, look at those roots. Let me see if I can get you back on the screen. Look at those roots, that's kind of cool to me. All right, oh, look at that root. All right, let's put those in the hole. So this pot right here has some um, rutabecchia in it. And then just bury it around with all that dirt. Thank you. That's rutabecchia or black-eyed Susan that I winter sowed. And we'll just get it watered in pretty quick. Thank you. <laughs> now you're playing in mud. Played in water in a long time. So Ethan's gonna be happy with me, but we might need to flip two of these plants. This is a hydrangea. My sister told me what it was, and it gets eight by eight. And then the knockout coral rose. I think we're gonna switch those two. And then everything else is going to stay where it's at. So Ethan just crushed my rose. <laughs> yeah. I'll fix it. Troublemaker. Don't get your don't get Owie. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a good thing it's a tough knockout rose.
So it actually took us several weeks, about two and a half weeks, to do this project instead of a couple days. But I had Ethan's help, Josh's help, and Kim's help to put in these plants and winter sown seedlings. So hopefully this garden will look so much better next year. So I'm gonna leave the video here. And yes, it's gonna take a while to make this look absolutely gorgeous, but it's gonna happen. See ya, bye. me I am a fish. <laughs> Hi we're up here Silver Lake on the top of Brighton on this boardwalk and my sweet Lindsay is pushing, pushing me in a wheelchair. <laughs> but at least I got to get out of the house and the yard and look at this beautiful scenery. Oh it's so pretty. Hi again. Don't drop me out of this thing. <laughs> We're on a backwards ride. Oh, I don't like going backwards. Same. Are you done? Are you tired? No. No? Okay. Keep going. No. <laughs> were we on a hill? So yeah. you were able to just slide down it? Mm -hmm. But was not the funnest time you've ever had. I'm enjoying this time with you. Look at this big old fishing gear. Isn't that funny? <laughs> and it's mine. Fishing net. <laughs> Look at the fish.